All right, I guess this, this video is about table talk. I guess you want table saw talk. I guess you want to call it that. I'm not even for sure, but um, all I know is that, you know, people can get really hurt on these saws. Uh, pretty much any tool. doesn't matter. If you're not using the correct safety, you can really get hurt on them. Uh, I know I've been using the table saw for quite a few years. I've had, uh, I had an old Sears when I first started out. Uh, it wasn't a real good saw, but uh, pretty dangerous. Very pretty dangerous. But uh, so I decided to go ahead and well, I bought this one here a couple of years back, and uh, you know I've watched some of these videos online about people, you know, getting wood kicking back on them and stuff like that, which I've had that done too. You know, don't get me wrong, I've been I've been in the same spot as well as everybody else. But uh, you know, I, I I see people talking about you know how to hold down wood, how to do this and this. And yes, that kickback is a horrible thing. People get their fingers and their hands and stuff cut off because, you know, it scares you. But I've noticed a lot of careless of people using saws, table saws, by just trying to catch a piece of wood. And that was the thing I wanted to show you today. That was the whole reason for building this here, this table on the front. Uh, I do have a roller that you, uh, it's, on, it's, it's on a stand that you can, you know, the wood can roll. So if I have to go further, I can go further. But I do believe that that's what everybody should have, you know, on the end of these. Because it, from the blade to the front of the saw, you know, I've I got a ruler here. I'm going to measure to the end of my blade to the front of my saw is about 8 inches. And that's not much for a piece of wood that's longer than, longer than 8 inches. You know, because basically when you run that through there, you know, you're, you're coming through. And then what's the first thing you try to do? Catch that piece of wood. Well, it's really not a good thing to put your arm over that saw to begin with. You know what I'm saying? But you're running it through, which I've done it too, just as well, you know, as a lot of other people. You should always use something else, you know, like these sticks. You can make them. It's not hard to make. And then hold it down and then just push it through. And then most likely, you know, if you don't have the table, yes, I just let it fall off. Don't try to catch it. Uh, I see people try to reach or cut it. You catch it, and the first thing you catch it, you know, your arm's close to that blade. That's kind of scary. So that was the whole reason for building the deck on the front of this saw. So when I had a small piece of wood, I could slide it through it, and it's just going to lay there, and I could turn the saw, walk around, pick it up. You know, because, you know, you don't want to pick it up off the floor. You're tired. You don't, you worked all day, you know, cutting things, doing things. You don't want to get You don't want to bend down over it. I understand that. That's the problem. Uh, so I keep trying to, uh, you know, update tools and stuff on, on the saw. I did pick up this uh, feather featherboard by Feather Pro. Uh, really nice design. It has uh, the little teeth, like the little fingers up here, instead of all the wee little tiny fingers. You know, I've had one of those before. I, I went bad. I cut. It started breaking. I don't know. I don't know what it did. I don't know if it smashed it or what. But the little prongs started breaking, and eventually, it wasn't too many on it. And, uh, and then it wasn't working very well. Uh, this worked really good. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. I picked up off the line. It's, it was around, I think, like, I would say around 30 to $40, something like that. I'm not really for sure, but you can look at it and see. Uh, what you do is set up your fence, and then, uh, you know, you would take a board. Say I wanted to set it up and bring it in a little bit more, cut it off here. Um, you can set it in like this. And then just tighten it down. Okay, now what they tell you, if you can pull that backwards, if you can pull it backwards real easy, then it's, it's, it's actually not tight enough. Okay, uh, it, it seems like, it seems kind of weird. It's like, well, if I can't pull backwards, it's not going to go forward. Well, it's the way the design, the fingers are designed, they, they flex, they move back and forth. So just take it and tighten up just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Just put a little bit more pressure. But the thing is, if you put pressure on that, you got to make sure your fence is tight. You know, you don't want a chance that, you know, you put pressure on that and then you shove your fence back. You shove your fence back and you, you know, your cut's going to be off and who knows what it's going to look like. But that's, that's basically, I think that's all you have to do is just put it in. But really nice for an extra hand. Uh, I'm going to cut this piece of wood. Now, I still like using two pieces of wood. But I do 
do like using two pieces of wood, you know, like, like, like this stick here and another stick, but you can make these. It's not a biggie to make these. I mean, you know, then, then your hands are definitely away from it. But if it hits these, it don't matter. I could throw them away. I could build, make another one, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but your hands, you can't. I only know that by experience because I, I used to climb trees, and I was up in a real tall pine tree, and uh, I'm going to make the story short. just got tired, cut my finger, and they cut it off and went to the hospital. And, you know, still, this day I still can't use it right. And that was my fault for being tired and not using enough caution. Should have got down, took a break, went back up, didn't want to, wanted to get finished. It's basic same thing about table saws. You know, you get in here and you start working and you're working harder and harder every day. And what happens? You know, you're careless. You get careless. And uh, you know what happens? I'm careless and we don't want to talk about that right now. But uh, yeah, this is a nice little tool. Um, you can look it up online and see what you think about it. Uh, I like the way the fingers, and of course it's replaceable. This piece here, the black piece, you can take it off and replace it. I thought that was pretty neat too. So, Okay, if uh, anybody got any comments, just leave them down below and, and I'll get back with these as soon as I can. And thanks for watching.